Yes. Okay, welcome to another episode of Crime Plays of Bonnie Doesn't. As you can see, I'm just hanging out here on a boulevard strip on the north side with my copy of the Flora of Chicago Region by Jerry Wilhelm and, uh, and, and Laura Ririche. How do you pronounce it? I don't think that's right. You see the cicadas over there nice? Anyway, this is a good, the medians are nice, you know, because you got these boulevards. This is where historically old Italian ladies would go to collect their dandelions uh, because this is the only spot they knew the dogs wouldn't be pissing on them and stuff. Granted, they'd be, you know, full of brake dust, uh, car exhaust, and little tire shavings, but that aside, let's take a look here and see what we're looking at with this book right here. Why anybody would want to get such a large tome. Now, as you can see over here, this is a rather heavy book, okay? Probably cost a hundred bucks, maybe 120. I forget what it was. You got a lot of good stuff in here. This is my first ever book review online. See that you got a map of Chicago, a lot of ornamentation there. All right, Chicago River and stuff. Okay, what it looked like, you know, two, three hundred years ago. You know, back historic Fort Dearborn. You got these nice placards and stuff you could use as a fan. But if you actually choose to read them, got a lot of ecological information here, as well as, uh, you know, surficial geology. Okay, what's exposed on the surface? of uh, Chicago, everything from the Kankakee Sands to the Silurian limestone to the clay and silt, etc. Remember, you closer to the lake here, you got more sand. Outwards, you got more clay. A lot of good stuff here. And then you got a little guide on how to use a key. So maybe some of you don't know how to use a key. Maybe you're used to looking at pictures to figure out what the shit you're looking at. I don't recommend it. That's good up to a point. The more you get into stuff, you're gonna actually need to start getting the key, all right? You don't want the pretty picture books. You wanna look at the actual literal description, the word, the written descriptions, the words. Start learn, learning some of these words and stuff. Here we go. Look at this stuff they got. Nice pictures, okay? You still got your nice pictures. All right, dry music to Black Oak Savannah. Pictures and habitat descriptions of the plant communities themselves. And this is what you want to try to emulate in a garden instead of doing those freaking, you know, uh, Victorian English garden paint by numbers scenarios on those nicely manicured garden beds. All right, leave that for the retired dentists who are addicted to Valium that live in Highland Park. You don't want to be doing that in your yard, okay? Leave that for the for the rich folks and the stiffs. They want to keep that, uh, they just change the species list up, but they keep that garden plan. So how do you use the key? This is why you want to use a key, okay? Look at it, let's start with milkweed. Everything's alphabetical here, all right? From, you got families, genera, etc. all alphabetical. Floor Chicago is great in that it does this. And also when you get down to the species, you got a good description of uh, sympatric species, the other species that a plant grows with, as well as a description of habitat, what it likes, dry sites, wet prairies, etc. So let's say you're a little bit familiar with plants. You know you're looking at a milkweed, a.k.a. the genus Asclepius. But as you can see, once you go to it, you know, in the uh, the part where it is in a, in a tome, you can see we got many species that occur in the, uh, the tri-state area over there nice. Okay, so you want to figure out what the shit you're looking at. A lot of people ask me, how do you know what, what the species of yupa you're looking at? How do you know what species of milkweed you're looking at? How do you know what species of whatever? This is how you figure it out. Put down the picture books and, and learn to use one of these, okay? You can't always bring this onto the field with you. That's why you take good pictures, take, you know, five pictures of the same plant, defining characteristics, etc. But when you want to figure out what the shit species you're looking at, and you want to be sure before you get in the, more formally acquainted with them from being exposed to them either in the field, in a prairie, or oak savanna, or in your garden, ideally. That's what we're trying to do, bring this shit back to the garden. Then that's the best way to become acquainted with a plant. You go out there, you spend time with it. Before you just, before you get acquainted with it, this is what you use to figure out, to delineate what species you're looking at. As I use a key, go to, it's like a choose your own adventure book. See, there, there you go. At least one set of, of leaves world, leaves never world. That's the first choice. Leaves being whirled around. You could just Google that if you're confused with the shit it means. It means the leaves are whirled around the stem, obviously, you know? And then uh, leaves never world, maybe they're they're opposite. Milkweed leaves are always opposite if they're not world. Well, I think there's one species that has alternate leaves either way. And if you're confused what any of these words mean, they got a freaking dictionary in the back, you look it up. It's not that hard. It's a learning experience. Devote 10 minutes a day to looking at this stuff. You know, when you're waking up slugging coffee at your kitchen table or something, it's not gonna kill you. All right, this is this is how you learn botany should you give a shit enough to want to go deeper, which I do, because it's a nice reprieve from all the ugly bullshit in the world. So anyway, as you can see, you just keep going on and on and on, just down. Choose your own adventure. You gotta, you gotta figure out what all these different definitions mean, which you know you want to do anyways if you're a plant person and shit. And then you just figure out what species you're looking at. You can also, what I've done many times, say I want to learn the difference between two different species, Asclepius hertella and Asclepius solvantii. You go backwards. You start with both these, 
and you kind of follow them back and you find the fork in the road where they split you know so what's the big difference you know if if if, uh, if you're if say you've never seen these in person before you're curious what it is it's a great it's a great way to figure it out you can also read the written descriptions which again are immensely helpful a lot of good info all right some floras are really boring it's literally just the written description other floras really go in depth look at this jerry and laura go really in depth right here they, they list all the st patrick species what kind of sites it likes and stuff they got a little map all the different counties of crows and etc look at this look at look at the asteraceae see that just grouped in there with all the other genera a family is just grouped in there alphabetically with all the other genera but look at the asteraceae section don't worry don't trip you'll be fine it's just a matter of getting familiar with this stuff you don't got to fucking learn this overnight you don't got to study this and this is only for the people who really want to get get into it and get the vow and i've also got that nice intro section too but you know you look at it what's the difference look at the keys for this i, I rarely ever use keys because i already know the genera you, you know use inat use whatever figure out the genera but it's really helpful when it comes down to figuring out you know delineations within a genus or within a section etc so this is all the sunflower family look at this that's a clusterfuck it's hilarious look at the arnold glass and this is one of my favorite genera right there so it's just the genera, and then you go figure out the genera. The key to the species in the, the, gen, in the genus are, uh, you know, wherever the uh, genus is listed alphabetically. So using a combination of floras for whatever region you're in, obviously this is an exceptional one, Flora Chicago region, and iNaturalist, use the explore feature on iNaturalist, go online, do whatever, and just getting out into the field and looking at this shit, or looking at a good native plant garden, either in a private residence at your house, or in a park, or in a fucking botanic garden, whatever, and all that stuff helps. All right, it's all part of what an asshole speeding up a fucking residential street need a speed bump let's put a cinder block in the middle of the street next time prick anyway it's all part of, of, of figuring out you know what composes the living fabric of where you live right and it's so it's so freaking important so anyway that's all i got have a good rest of the day go fuck yourself bye